Dots. I'm Dr. Latif and I'm the host of the Money Fit MD podcast. This is where we help badass women physicians just like you learn simple and effective tools to build wealth from the inside out. That way we can create wealth and bigger impact without all the burnout. Enjoy the episode. What if it's possible that money and time are actually not the only currencies that exist? Actually, many of us are taught that money is the thing to spend our time working for. It's the thing that we spend our lives chasing. What if that's not true? And what if that's actually causing you to have less money, less freedom, and causing you to burn out? Welcome, guys. I'm Dr. Latifat. I'm a physician and money and wealth coach for women physicians. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm glad you're listening. This is where I share nuggets about money, nuggets about wealth, and creating the life that we truly want. Because here's what I found to be true. Most of us are not actually taught the right things when it comes to money. And if you don't think that that's true, I want you to look at the statistics that exist when it comes to financial freedom, financial worries, and realize the fact that so many families are one paycheck away from being homeless, and many relationships fall apart because of issues related to money, finances, and communication regarding money. So it is fair to say that what we are being taught, for the most part, is probably not correct. And the reason why I do the things that I do is to teach us the right, succinct, potent information that I haven't simply just learned, but literally has changed my life and helped me go from literally being broke seven years ago, knowing zero about money, to creating the life that we want and practicing medicine on my terms. So I hope you enjoy this episode. A lot of us are, you know, we go into medicine because we want to do great things in the world. We want to serve our patients, we want to do good, and there's nothing wrong with that. I will say that in this world, we also live in a very economic world. And so most times when we're thinking about how we want to give value back in the world, we're thinking about money and money is important. I am literally the founder of Money Fit MD. So I'm not saying that money is bad. I'm not saying that money is evil. Money is great. Money is a gift that we've all been given and we have access to. Sometimes you may not know you have access to it, but I promise you, you do have access to it. So money is being valued as a currency. And that is true. If you go to the market, you spend money in order to buy something there. You spend money to buy groceries, you pay money for rent, you spend money to hire a babysitter. And so it is very, very reasonable that you think that money is the number one currency that you need to chase. However, maybe chasing it is not what we need to do, number one. But also maybe that idea of chasing money is why we are missing the other currencies that actually is what is going to be able to help us create the life that we want. To understand the impact of what I'm teaching, I want you to understand too that money is only one of four different currencies that I'm going to talk about, but also of the other currencies, money is actually the only one that's replaceable. It's the only one that if you don't have any today, you could have more tomorrow and you could make up for the money that you did not have. But the other currencies, you cannot make up for them. And so I'm going to talk about those other three ones because I do believe that knowing this has the potential to help you not only shift how you spend your money, but the quality of the time that you have and also help you have more money. And I mean, if you listen to this episode, you probably want more money. You want to learn how to manage this money and you want to learn how to stop worrying about money. So that's what this is about. So the number two currency that you may have heard about is time. So time is a currency. We spend time. And in fact, I did an episode um, a couple of months ago about the purpose of money in 2024. And part of the purpose of money is to help you buy your time, to help you create the time to do the things you want to do, such as spending time with your loved ones, spending time with yourself, spending time serving, spending time resting, spending time thinking, spending time doing whatever the crap you want. Like I'm recording this um, in a week where I'm not working clinically and I 
you know, I've been able to take my mom to her doctor's appointment, been able to take her to go get a colonoscopy done, which I'm super duper excited about as a GI doctor. That's a huge proponent of colon cancer screening, especially if you're over the age of 45. Yes, I'm sneaking that in. So if you listen to this podcast episode and you're over the age of 45, you've never had any colon cancer screening, I am 100% giving you the side eye right now. You're not too busy to take care of yourself. You're not busy to save your own life, which is what you may be doing if you get a colonoscopy. So anyways, back to what I was talking about. That was a free bonus for y'all. And so if you have loved ones that hasn't gotten their colon cancer screening done, I give you the permission to bother them and do whatever you need to do to help them get it done. But that's something that I was able to do this week. And, you know, if I didn't have the time to do it, would would it have been done? We would have found a way. So it would still have gotten done. But part of me giving and enjoying the quality of my life and exerting the values that I have, which one of my big values is family, is being able to create the time to take care of my mom. And so the finances that I've done, the stuff that I've done when it comes to my housekeeping, making my money work for me, automating the parts of my finances that I don't need to think about every month is how I've been able to create the time to be able to do to spend the quality of my time how I want. So time is a currency. Time is how you can use time to look for deals. You can look, you know, time to learn a new skill set, time to enjoy your life, time to look at your investments, time to go spend time to have by yourself. Like time is a currency that we can spend. So when you're earning money and you're exchanging your money for time, I want you to understand too that you are actually spending part of the currency that you have in order to get money, right? Money may not be the only thing you're getting back in return, but you may also be getting the the goodness of, oh my goodness, I did something good, right? So thinking about your time as a currency that you're spending is important. So if you're spending all of your currency, which is time on social media, if you're spending it listening to gossip, if you're spending it in ways that you're not gonna be proud of, then it's time to take your currency back and not use it in a way that's actually gonna give you more return on your investment of time. So I think about my time as a currency and everything that I teach you guys here is not about being perfect, it's about doing it as imperfectly as you can and doing better and progressively improving and increasing how well you're spending this time like an asset and not using your time as a liability, okay? The number three thing is your attention. This part is so important, guys, especially as women physicians. You know, when I think about some of the maybe patients that you may have seen in clinic or patients that I've seen in clinic, or maybe this is you, you spend the whole day and you're like, all I did was sit down and watch TV and I feel exhausted. I haven't done anything much, but I'm tired, right? And, you know, maybe the time you're spending is you're spending it on social media, you're scrolling and you're like, oh my goodness, I feel drained already. It's not because of just the time that you spent. It's not because you spent the money necessarily, even though you didn't earn the money. <laughs> it's because your attention was being spent on something that may be draining you. Or maybe you're someone that you've spent all day in clinical medicine, you're taking care of patients, and now you're home, you're spending time with your family, but your attention is not with your family. Maybe your attention is in with the charts you haven't done. Maybe your attention is with the things you haven't done. Maybe your attention is with the mistakes or the things that you think you could have done better. Now you have the time, but your attention is not there. And you're spending your attention, which is a currency, on something else, right? And you can think, start to think about the return you get in on your investment of your attention, right? And if you look at things like Facebook ads, you look at a lot of the social media like Instagram, people are trying to get your attention because they understand that it's a currency that is worth something. But if you are unintentional, and you're not aware that your attention is actually currency that you can choose to spend the same way you would spend money, the same way you spend time, you may not be creating what you need to create or what you should be creating or what is available for you to create because you did not even know that your attention was a currency. So what are you spending your attention on? What are you spending your time on? What are you spending your money on? Are you getting a return on your investment. And when I say return on your investment, it's not only about money, it's about all the other aspects that could help you create your rich life, 
right? And if you're not doing that, then make a list of the things that you could be doing differently, or at least be now aware <laughs> that maybe the reason why you're exhausted and the reason why you're not getting everything that you want, everything that you could be getting, isn't because you don't have the time, but it's because of what your attention is doing. And remember, wherever your attention goes, that's where your energy and your growth is going to go or not. So if you're like, I want to get better when it comes to my finances, I want to build the foundation of my money. I want to learn how to think different about my money. I want to create my own rich life. I want to have the time freedom to be able to spend and take time and do the things that I want with my family. If you want those things, but you haven't created it yet, then the question is, is it that I'm not spending my money in a way that I could be spending it, whether that's like you know, investing in tangible assets, investing in yourself, investing in creating a life that's an asset, or investing in growing assets, investing in buying assets? Or is it that I'm not using my time that way, right? Or is it that I'm not using my attention that way? Does that make sense? And then the last but not the least, which is the most critical and probably the one with the most finesse is your energy. Your energy is your currency because what your energy flows, that is what your riches are going to flow or not. So what are you spending your energy on, right? And when I say energy, I'm talking about like your mental energy. Is your mental energy being spent on worrying or is your mental energy being spent on solving? Is your mental energy being solved worrying about what people are going to say about you, trying to not piece anybody off because you've been groomed to be a people pleaser like so many of us are. Like, is that what your energy is going to? Because if your energy is going there, you literally are sequestering your energy from things that could be creating momentum and growth and amplifying and creating your rich life, the purpose for which you're here, right? So I want us to start auditing that a little bit more and asking ourselves, like, what am I spending my energy on? I will tell you, um, you know, a couple of days before recording this podcast episode, I did a video or, you know, we'll put a video, is it a video or a post on Instagram? And some person, some human or someone commented on there and was like, oh, in I don't even know what language it was, but like, you know, I was able to translate it. And he said, oh, another black girl. And then said some other like, you know, racist stuff on there. And when I saw that post, I was like, do I want to spend my energy, even though I have the time, this is not going to cost me money. I have the time. I looked at it, which meant it had my attention at that microsecond. Is this how, like, how do I want to use this finite resource of energy that I have in order to be able to create what I want? Is this what I want to spend my energy on? Like having a conversation with some troll? <laughs> All right. And at that moment, I decided no. So I didn't even respond to it. And, you know, some people may see that on my Instagram. I didn't even delete it either because let them show you who they are. I didn't delete it. I didn't comment on it. And some people may go, well, you know, why would you let that in your zone? Why would you not delete that? Because I'm just choosing not to give it the energy that I would rather spend on other things like recording this podcast episode, spending time with my family, right? The other way that this also applies is in how you're spending your energy in your house. So I will give you a really, really <laughs> exact good example about what happened. So, you know, I want to be in a clean space. And there are times when you may be in your home and you see like debris or something somewhere that your kid has dropped. And so you want to clean it up. And on this particular day, there were certain things that I wanted to do with my time, with my attention, with my energy, which are my currencies. But I was like, you know, I don't have time for it. But then I picked up the vacuum cleaner to clean this area. And I was, you know, you know how sometimes you like get started and then you start, <laughs> continue, you just don't stop. And that was me. And I had this thought drop into my mind that I truly believe was from God. And it was like, you don't have, you say you don't have time to do this other things, but you have time to vacuum and clean up this way. Cause I do have someone, you know, we have a housekeeper that helps us with doing that, that stuff. Right. And I had to catch myself and go, oh man, that's true. I'm spending my time, my attention, my energy on this. And there's nothing wrong with doing those things if that's what I think is worth spending on. But I, what I don't want us doing is continuing this unintentional expenditures 
and have nothing left of our finite resources to be able to give to things that can actually give us more return on our investment or is worth it for you on that day and that season. There are some days when that may be the best for someone to spend my energy. The other thing that I've come to realize is I'm a, I, I'm truly a morning person. I am. And some of my friends are like, um, we've known that about you forever. But I'm realizing how much more of a morning person that I am. Like by the time it's evening time, I don't have too much more to that I want to do. I want to read for, for pleasure, you know, but my most productive, most energyful is in the morning. So imagine if every single day of my life, I'm spending the best of my best on other people's projects, on other people's assignments, or on washing dishes, when I could be spending that energy doing the work that I've been created to do, which is serve y'all, right? And for some of you, the work you've been created to do in the season, your calling is clinical medicine. And so how do we realign our best of our money, of our time, of our attention, and our energy into the things that we're meant to do in the season of our life. If that's all you take away from this podcast episode, it would literally change your life in three months because now you're spending those things, those currencies in the way that you define will give you the biggest bang for your buck. So I hope this episode has been helpful for you. If it has been, I would love it if you left us a review on whatever platform you listen to this on and if you listen on youtube comment below let me know what your thoughts are about this episode and if you're listening on the podcast and you haven't watched the video yet go check out our youtube money feed md this is where we're compiling our videos and bringing great stuff and there are times when i'm going to be doing lives on there that you may not hear on the on the podcast so make sure you subscribed in all the places the money feed md podcast and also the money fit md show on youtube and of course, I would love it if you can tag someone in this post so that they can also learn from how we're helping women physicians change their money and change their life. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.